this is our last chance. It was one of the best moments of my life. All Ireland champions, Munster and, and county champions, like you do have a bit of a target on your back. We knew that we were the underdogs, I suppose that was the talk everywhere. Lismore have that experience behind them. I believe it made us hungrier at that stage, I suppose it was still all there to play for. That morning of the match, you know, I, I distinctively remember like you have butterflies in your tummy, um, you know, you just want to get out there, you just want the ball to be thrown in. I'll never forget when we ran out of the tunnel and it was snowing outside, it was, it was actually a dream, like it was unbelievable. Welcome to a picturesque but freezing Croke Park for the AIB All-Ireland Club Camogie Intermediate Final. The snow was just coming full force at us. It was kind of a surreal feeling to think that, you know, first of March and you're running out onto Croke Park with snow belting in the face. The weather, it was, it was a factor for everyone, I think players, management, poor people in the stand, like it was... It was insane. It was just bitter um, and I, I, I can remember like it was hard to stay warm. And the AIB All-Ireland Intermediate Club final is underway. The first 10 minutes of the game was really intense, it was back and forth. Pilltown controlled it from, from the start and probably got their tactics right, you know, they played they played the, the weather and everything well, they held on to the ball, their use of the ball was a lot better than theirs. They got the first point, obviously it was from a three. Three is stroked over. It was us that got the next three points and then there was an unbelievable play between Kate Power and Neve Cullen and then to Chloe Blackmore. They work it down the pitch, it's inside, comes to Blackmore, there's a goal threat, oh! Blackmore sticks that into the back of the net. That was definitely a bit of a settling point for us and definitely drove us on from there. One three to a point, like, like that was crazy to think that they've only gotten a point and we've gotten a goal in three so, like, so quickly. We were kind of fumbling the ball, uncharacteristic kind of things to us. Maybe tactically, we're maybe naive on the day. Like, we can't leave this behind us, we just have to keep tipping the scores over. Norris, let's go towards goal, and that is a cracker of a point. We needed something, uh, something big at the time, um, and when, Eve, when we won the free and Eve was standing over, I suppose, from playing with her over the years, we kind of all knew what was in her head. There was a few of our older girls doing a bit of back talk, so it got moved dead straight in front of the goal. It's almost half time. Just pick a spot in the goal, go for it. I hit it as hard as I could. Hannah, she has gone for it. Oh, she's got it. To beat six girls on the line, it was class. Half time score is Piltown, the challengers, 1 6, Liz Moore, the champions. 1-4. We spoke about it in the dressing room, we said like, you know, we haven't played any hurling and we're only two points down, I think it was at the time. We knew that we had to kind of come out, work hard, it was definitely going to be a battle for us in that second half. Nothing was going to be got easy on the day. The Pilltown players were in our forwards' faces like the whole time. Any time we hit the ball in, there was two, three players. I knew if we get, the ball would break, something would happen for us, you know, keep trying, never give up. They literally threw everyone at us. They threw the kitchen sink at us there in the last 10 minutes. We might have been still about four or five points down at one stage, and then we got a goal and just the elation. I just remember thinking, right, this is this is our last chance, you know. So I turned my back and I heard the whistle and I saw someone's face on the sideline. Their hands went up on their head and I just looked back and I saw the umpire crossing the flags and it was disallowed. Is that the decision? It was given us a square ball. Um, the last kind of two, three minutes and in, into injury time, it was just holding on by a string really. The last puck out then, it landed down on top of Katie and she caught it straight, which went out for a sideline ball then. The referee blows the full time whistle and Piltown for the very first time are the All-Ireland Intermediate Champions. The thing obviously that hits you when the, when the final whistle goes and you're surrounded by the other team that have all that elation and you know, it is, you want to be kind of anywhere but, but there at that time. And Heartbreak doesn't even touch on it. Just sheer devastation um, and deflation and that feeling like of empty inside. I think I was beside Katie when it went out for that sideline and he blew the whistle. And just looking at her, I felt like, do I need to be woken up? It was literally like a dream come through. The club means so much to all of us and the club always comes first for us. Dad was obviously doing water that day and he came over and gave me a hug and just told me he was so proud and I don't think there was anything as good as that moment.